Hey everyone, I'm Mr. Martin. And I'm Miss Gabrielle. We're both teachers at École secondaire de la Cité and we're here to present our brand new podcast done by students who participate in the English Club. The goal of the English Club is to help students be in contact with English and to become more comfortable without necessarily doing schoolwork. In this episode, you will hear from two secondary one students, Salvatore and Alexi, who will play lie detector with their math teacher. They will interview Miss G in order to find which of her statements are true and which one is false. Enjoy! Hello everyone, we are the Sound of the City team. We make a podcast and I will present to you our concept of study. One teacher, Miss G, will tell two truths and one lie. We have to find a lie. Me and my friend Salvatore and Mr. Martin will try to guess what is a lie. I wish best of luck to you guys. So, my name is Miss G. I'm also known as your math teacher. I teach mathematics for high school one and two at École Secondaire de la Cité. And I'm here today to tell you about statements. I have three of them. One is a lie, so good luck. My first one, I traveled on all continents. Secondly, I have more than 10 piercings and 20 tattoos all over. And my last one is that I played in two movies, two actual movies. Where are all these tattoos and piercing? There are so many of them. I think I have more than 10 just in my ears of piercing the tattoos. And I have a septum, which is right in the middle of my face on my nose. Oh. And for tattoos, I have some on my arms, legs, even my ribs which hurts so much to get done. Okay. Where were these two movies filmed? In Montreal. There are some studios that are named Mel's Studio. Mm -hmm. So I played there, the both of them actually, because they are in the same franchise of movies. So both of them, same place in the Mel's Studio in Montreal City. And could you tell us about who were the celebrities in these movies? Ooh. I met a few of them because my dad works in movies, actually. So I met uh, Jennifer Lawrence. I met Hugh Jackman, Halle Berry, all of the X-Men characters, really, because both movies were X-Men. All right. Thank you very much. What is the movie? And are you an extra or someone more interesting? I was only an extra. In both X-Men, I was only an extra, meaning I was just sitting in a room. And the The scene, the last scene that I did was in an airport. So I was just an extra with my luggage sitting down on a bench. Nothing very, very interesting. Honestly, I didn't speak, and that's it. I just waited for the whole day. And um, why did you travel the whole continent? Why? Because I love traveling. I travel, I started traveling solo. So no family, just by myself when I was 17. And I never stopped. I love traveling. So in 10 years, I did all continents. It was kind of a a challenge I gave myself. I wanted to do all of them before 30. So I did, and I'm very happy about it. Uh, Miss Gabriel? Yes, Salvatore. You have traveled to all continents, but can you tell me the countries that you visit? Honestly, there's a lot of them. I can list a few. I I lived in Madrid, so I lived in Spain for six months. I visited a friend in Australia for a whole month. I went to Cambodia, Laos, Thailand, Vietnam, and Asia because I really, really love the food over there. I went to Hawaii, to the States a lot. So by driving to the United States, I traveled within Canada. So I went to BC, British Columbia to learn English. I traveled to Iceland, uh, Venezuela, Nicaragua, 
uh, Costa Rica to Haiti, Re Republic Dominican to Morocco to Senegal, uh, and the list goes on and on. Okay. What is the craziest thing you saw during your travels? One of the craziest thing I did myself was in Nicaragua. I actually slid down like on a crazy carpet, a volcano. So it's a thing over there. I just went on a volcano, which was not active for sure. But I slid down on a crazy carpet. I rode the whole volcano down. And I think I was going like 80 miles, not miles, sorry, 80 kilometers per hour or something. They try to track your speed and it was something crazy like that. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Are we ready to pronounce our opinions on these insane facts, gentlemen? Yes. Yes, we are. All right. Let's go with uh, statement number one. I traveled on all continents, Mr. Alex C. What is your take? Is it true or false? I think it's false because all the continents, it's with Antarctica. And I think just scientists go here or with rich people. And so you're saying she's not rich? Yeah. No, not not rich like uh, Elon Musk. I'm, I'm not rich like Elon Musk, I can say. I didn't visit a lot of Antarctica. I just did a layover. So meaning my plane stopped there and I changed plane to go to Australia because it's all on the other side of the, the earth. So I technically have been to Antarctica, but it was only a layover to be uh, quite honest. So I didn't visit it, but I went there. That there didn't change my opinion because I've heard a video that says that nobody travels uh, Antarctica because of the wind, the snow, there can be like a lot of crash and there is like a electro electromagnetic uh, own fields, I guess. Yes. Like it's a pole. And it's done good for the plane. All right. Salvatore, statement one. Do you think it is true or false? I think it is false. Because? Because um, traveling to Antarctica, there's not really people that go there. And even what could there be to see there? There's only snow. Penguins. So, yeah. A lot of penguins and another plane. That's what I saw. Statement two, gentlemen. I have more than 10 piercings and 20 tattoos. True or false, Alex? I think this is true because Miss Gabrielle have uh, a lot of uh, visible um, tattoos and piercings. All right. Salvatore, true or false? So true. Statement two. True. All right. And statement three... I played in two movies. Alex, is it true or false? I logically think this is true uh -huh. because um, work like an extra is common and I think a lot of people can do that. All right. Thank you. And Salvatore? I think it is. You think it is true? Yes. Because? Because it can happen. It can happen that you, that you can be in a movie. All right. Thank you, gentlemen. Do we go with the big reveal? So um, what is the lie? So I have to say, I'm a very good person, meaning I'm not a very good liar. You both had it right. I did not travel on all continents. I did not go to Antarctica. I did all of the others, though. I was supposed to uh, visit Cambodia, Vietnam, Thailand, and Laos, but it was during COVID. So actually, my flight got canceled. I've never been to Asia. It was a double lie. Oh, so sad. So sad. But all the other ones are true. I actually am in X-Men. If you play the movie and you look at the airport scene, I am in there somewhere with long hair. And I had the extra job just because uh, my dad works in cinema and he still does. So once in a while, I go and watch a new movie in advance. It's very neat. Okay. This is fun. So that means, too, that you have 10 piercings and 20 tattoos on you. I do. At all times. At She never takes time. them off. Imagine at oh. the airport beeping like a crazy person. I have 10 piercings in my ears. I did some myself. I got some while traveling. I have so many tattoos, some for friends, some just for fun, really. 
Thank you very much, guys. You did a good job. You did find out uh, the lie. Thank you to our guests, Miss G, Thvatar, and Alexi. Thanks for having me. Thank you to our producer, Mr. Martin. And I will see you in a couple of weeks. Later. There is a very serious ego illusion that in newness there is more.